Anytime you got a Resident Evil 4 style Tetris inventory. Oh, yes. Uh... Well done. All done, my fish. I really love the way the water looks. It looks very nice. Inspect. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe pa his passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Well, you should have kept an eye out for that. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Baba buoy. That's right, laser beaks. Okay, we got some some bigger fish here, I think. A cod, a delicious cod. So now the cod have a different storage shape, so you have to <gasps> rotate yes. them differently in your inventory. It's very fun. Oh, uh, no problem. I can rotate fish in my mind. <laughs> uh, all right. All Faith says up. you caught a fish. Good one, Faith. Sorry, Faith. You've got to go. Who does all the good... Uh, Animal Crossing has all the good fish puns. Yeah. Every time you catch a fish, you get a good little joke. <laughs> What's the biggest fish you found so far? It was this big. Um, no, so, uh, the biggest one I found on my other save was, like, it was an eel that was just three squares long. I, I don't have the, uh, the gear to do much bigger than that yet. So, yeah, we, we, we will show you shortly, um, how the upgrades and stuff work, because you can get a bigger fish, a bigger ship, um, with more stuff in it. So we have, okay, here's the fish we've caught so far. There's a bunch of different ge geomes, what are they called, biomes that they live in. I think biomes is right, yeah. but maybe it's different because it's underwater. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, so catch a fish for the day. That's my first quest. So let's just go back and sell these fish. Aquomes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Still a biome. Yeah, I guess it was biomes in uh, Subnautica. Those are like biomes. God, Subnautica was so good. Did you finish it? I did. It was incredible. I need to decide if... I played that game when it was way back in early access. Mm-hmm. Like, God, that might have been like 2015. 13, 2014? Yeah, okay. I think it was 2015. And so a lot of the story wasn't there. And mm. I feel like I just kind of explored what, was hot, what I could at that time. But now that there's apparently like a, an actual big... Story quest. I've considered re revisiting it. Yeah, it would be a good time, especially because they also um, backported a bunch of, not a bunch, but a, a handful of quality life features from below zero into it. So like, there's some, there's some like new structures and stuff that you can build now, which is cool. Yeah, uh, I played through most of that of uh, below zero. Okay, so our old bo boat is too fucked up and damaged, so they've Damn. given us a new boat and also given us a loan to pay it back. Um, now, some people pointed out he looks like a leprechaun, and I didn't want to do it. Now he does look a wee bit like a leprechaun, you know. Yeah. But. But I can't. I can't do an Irish voice. <laughs> I can't do it. Yes, we've been Tom nooked by this mayor. Okay, selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. All right, so we got to go sell these fish. Let's go to the fishmonger. Look at him. He looks like a nice kind of guy. You enter the squalid shack, squalid shack on the squalid. fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Is... Am I just not able to see his part of his face? Uh, it's, it's sort of, that's like his cheekbone. It's like. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah. yeah he's got a big really cheekbone sticking out and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the old one? He, it takes a certain kind of person to last out here. 
It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. I'm not going to keep up this voice. Other towns yeah, on the island might painful. pay you different. While you still have a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. I got a lot of fucking fish. <laughs> All right, cool. Good job filling that inventory. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. The mayor's standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. What if we did, we did a Boston accent for him? Yeah, yeah, give, give that a shot. I don't know. If, okay. What, what did I do last time when we I, were doing uh, pen, Pensament? Uh, is it coffee? Or I just said to coffee. <laughs> oh, coffee. Oh, wh one last thing. Uh, a local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. All right, let's go see the shipwright. Ooh, my. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before returning, her, her, turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here, so payment is up front. Everything makes takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, splintered and scratched. Hmm, is that good? <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's see. So we got a research part here. Let's move that to our inventory. I don't think we can afford anything she's selling yet. Let me see. Well, this would let us go fishing in the shallows, which would be useful. <coughs> oh, uh -oh. but then your fisher rod takes up more space. Interesting. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, your your ship has mounts over here. You can see the places where these icons are or where you can attach certain components. Mm -hmm. So if we were to buy, like, a light, we could put a, a, a lens up in front of the ship. Um, hmm. but yeah, let's get that, let's get this one so we can fish in the shallows. Nice. Cool. And it is nighttime, so we should probably just rest until the morning. Yeah. Okay. Only so much fishing you can get done in a day. Yeah. All right, let's head on out. Okay, oh, so we that. still owe... Oh, only 28 bucks on the ship. That's not bad. Oh, that's easy. All right, let's go get well, some Well, surely fishies. we'll pay that off immediately and... Not, nothing untowards or frightening will happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I like the music. I didn't have my headphones on when I was testing this out earlier, so I didn't get any of the sound stuff, but it's very good. All right, so now we can do shallows fishing. <gasps> yeah. All right, we got a gulf flounder. Hello. Hey, boy. God, I love fishing. Now, I haven't thought of the most efficient way of stacking <laughs> these. Oh, wait, no, these guys are just cubes. That's okay, so I'll just stack some cubes. Twitch just auto-modded... <laughs> Glumper. <laughs> saying you're a fellow old to <laughs> Nicholas, but what was modded was you're a fellow as in calling. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's really good. Um, Ryan, I do not fish in real life. I only read about fishing and play games about fishing. <laughs> but, um, well, that's that. <laughs> God, I just want to be on a boat, though. Like, maybe I, if I didn't hate eating fish and touching fish and being aware of the concept of fish, I would love fishing. And I would love to be on a boat like this, just in the sea, completely free. I love the little squishing sound it makes when you move the fish around your inventory. Mm. 
Yeah, go on for ageism. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Can I move Band things around blocked. to make this fit? Let's see. I'm, uh, you stay there. Let's do some, some fish juggling. had a bad fish hook incident we don't want uh, those we don't like those. no we do not although it kind of seems like something that might not be out of the question for this situation we're in oh yes oh. we are shuffling these fish all a boot uh angel beat flight do you mean like a real like physical sailing stream like when are we going to be on a sailing ship because okay. don't test me i will T I will take this company to international waters. I will move the Polygon video team mm. to the sea. It only it only takes one person to stand up for what's right. It seems like a great way of spending our um our lavish stream budget. Yeah, yeah our <laughs> massive million dollar stream budget that we have. Oh, it's sunset's coming. Good mm -hmm. time and making it to the port here. So yeah, I haven't made it to the point in this game where like scary stuff starts happening. So we'll see how that goes. Encyclopedia. Do we learn any new fish? Okay, yeah. So. A oh, pathetic... there's a book of fish. Yes. Yes, and nice. they all have little uh, flavor oh. text. This one is pathetic, cowardly, and bottom dwelling. Hell yeah, that's it's like me. <laughs> Wait, I want to see the other descriptions. Yeah, one second. It's like me for real. Uh, cabin, encyclopedia. Let's see what else we've caught. Uh, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. Plentiful and basic. And that's Ryan, all I've what else so are we going to do with fish? Except for roast them. Hey. <laughs> Alright, let's go mong these fish. Alright. I had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay above normal prices. Okay. Okay. Tell me about the order. One gulf flounder and one gray eel. Yeah, oh, I thought it was going to be something like... <laughs> illicit? Something, uh, yeah, illicit or, or mythical. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, nah, just get me a flounder and an eel, whatever. You know. There you go. There's your flounder, buddy. And we're done for now. Okay. Sell fish. There we go. I'm not selfish, but I do sell fish. Uh... Let's go buy a light for our ship, I think. I haven't bought one of those oh, yet. Oh, is that a bad word? Is what a bad word? Uh, the abbreviation that you're doing for fishmonger. Oh, really? Hmm. Um, oh, no! It is! Oh, dear. That's bad. All right, well, no it, more of that. Is that UK specific or something? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'm out of tune. <laughs> All right. Let's... Please put this on my ship. Here we go. All right, we have a light on the front of our ship. Well, that, that's that got to come in handy. Yeah, so there's... St it gets very hard to see at night out there. And... Um, there we go. And if you run into rocks, you damage your inventory, and then so you end up with little X's on your thing here. Oh. Um. And then you can't store things in those spaces. Hang on, let's check our cabin, our pursuits. We are looking for one eel. Oh, one eel. What sort of biome do we find the eels in? <laughs> also, like I, I feel like I can see the rocks. Well, it's, it's oh. well, it's it's daylight. There is daylight right now. Oh, okay. Squid. Squid. Oops. Squid. Squid. Oh fuck. Squid. Disturbed water. Oh. Ah. I want that's <laughs> speaking to me okay so 
Yeah, this is what it looks like at night. So objects in the water essentially have fog okay. of war on them until they are yeah. immediately in the range of your light. Uh, exposure to fog and other things increases panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, I think this is an eel. I fucking love a little reaction-based oh, game. Pliable head says, panic at the fish boat. Very good. All right, fish depleted. Fish depleted. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Liable head says, way back. There we go. good evening. Good evening. That's good. I like that. A lot of good stuff in the chat tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah you see that ready? Theory. The way. Oh. Right. Oh, they got you. You see that? Oh. The way it just sort of appears out of the dark like that? Yeah. 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 Like, that's, that's how, how you're you going to get a rock. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I accept. Also, there's an eyeball. Was that eyeball up there? Yeah, that, that, that's yeah, my panic meter. Okay, okay, right, right. Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of... The situation is spooky. Mm. It's a little spooky, but I'm not that scared. I feel normal. Kentosaurus, I agree. Rocks are not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, no. Lights aren't supposed to do that. No. Okay. Okay. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. All right. She Alchemy. stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. Bye-bye. She turns and shuffles back along the path. Bye-bye. And that leads GTFO. to GTFO. Okay. GTFO. All right, let's give this motherfucker an eel. Take an eel. Take the eel, motherfucker. Can I foghorn? Yes, I'll foghorn for you, Dirk Pitt, once we're oh, back out there. Oh, yes. Honk. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid <laughs> and a whole black grouper. Don't see many f people fishing with squid these days. They only feed at night, and well, you know what nights are like around <laughs> here. Good luck. Uh, Alex, uh, hi, thank you. Uh, yes, you're you're not the first person that I've heard talk about the Chow Gardens. I, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this when we were talking in the interview. Sorry, hey. Uh, <laughs> Alex from Wannabe Games is in chat. Um, <laughs> and uh, yes, my my best friend always said that they wanted the Chow Gardens to be their own freaking game. So when you said it, I was like, this is a... Maybe three is a trend, but I say two is a trend. So <laughs> put it in. Put it in the video. Well, Aw, thank hey, you. Hey, Kitty Grusay, thank you for that. Um, okay, cool. So we have sold our remaining fish. Wow, we're pretty close to paying off our ship. Um, cabin nice. pursuits. So if we can find a black grouper, we can complete another order. Let's see what they say about Ooh. eels. A slimy creature, tainted with the silt and muck of the seabed. Man, this is this fisherman does not like fish. She's just got a bad attitude towards fish. Mm-hmm. Try to be a little more open-minded. I mean, actually, this is the attitude that Hemingway brought to writing The Sun Also Rises, <laughs> and he was writing about good friends in real life. So I, I understand the impulse. Uh, so the mayor just handed me a wet little package and told me to deliver it to a town across the water. So we'll do that for him. Um... <coughs> whoa, whoa, tainted eel. Whoa, whoa. We're going to put a second head. engine on our ship, too. Sure, why not? Trial bait agent points out that uh, commercial fishing does indeed have a bad attitude. That's true. Yeah, fish. that's one thing I, I know about lobster men in in Maine is that they have a uh, uh, an uncharitable attitude towards lobsters. They they think they suck. <laughs> they call them bugs. <laughs> Do they still eat them? I don't know. A 
Claire wants to know why is the package wet? Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't ask questions. I'm, I'm like the I'm the transporter. I'm Jason Statham, the transporter. I don't ask why the packages are damp when you give them to me. <laughs> I'm really the replacing of all of the words of tainted love with eels. <laughs> it's really sending me. Sending you where? Uh, the depths of the sea. This spot has I really depleted. wish that this cough would go away. What is that floating out there? Oh, it's just some, oh yeah, some can jet, we some, go out there? Or flotsam. Is it safe Yeah, to yeah, leave? We, can, we can leave there. Um, so we just I, sail away? Sail away, sail away, away sail away. away. So it, once we get some oceanic fishing gear, we'll go out there more, because a lot of the okay. stuff out there I can't... Um, We're bay fishers now. Yeah. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. <laughs> hey, give us some money. What... I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number oh, of the book. pages are folded over. It's a copy of the Sunless Horizon. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. <laughs> now, old man in the sea. <laughs> Ah! An author, yeah. but... <laughs> Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how it can be. That's, I like that guy. He's nice. So there's yeah. a, a trader here who will also uh, buy and sell things. Hey, how come he's writing an eldritch script? Who knows? We'll find out mm. at some point, perhaps. Say. Probably not um, important. Does it make me feel good? All right, let's, uh, let's return and grab some fish along the way. So yeah, this is another thing that I've only done once because I just got this book on my save too. But you can like assign a passive reading task. Uh, oh, so you'll have like these cool. books. So as time is passing, you'll be making progress towards some sort of like buff. That's cool. Um, man, this boat is faster now that I put that second engine on here. Noise. Yeah, you Watch need some out. sort of dredging tool to, to deal with. With that. Yeah. And there's a shark over there. Oh, yeah, somebody wanted Foghorn. Let me... Yeah, that's sick. That's good. Good stuff. Yes, you got automated for wet. Uh, pliable. Actually, no, sorry, you got modded for wet V. Ah, uh, gross. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's let's no longer abbreviate words. If you have, if you want to say verses, say it, okay? <laughs> Um, all right, I think that's all the fish we're going to carry for now. Let's um, let's make a little journey. Actually, m maybe I can do some creative rotation here. No, Gulliver, stop. Don't make me allow it. Wet 5 is my favorite of the wet movies. <laughs> uh, I thought it was way better than Wet 4. I got room for one more little fishy on here, and then uh, we can go cash out. John oh. Wet 3 Parabellum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simone, how did you like John Wick 4? I loved John Wick 4. Stop! Stop, Angel Feet. Oh. Um. Oh, God. No, it was so freaking good. I was having thoughts all through it. Um, not just about how Bill Skarsgård looks like my brother, DNA spliced with Harry Styles. Um, but just like, it was so gorgeously made and crafted, like everything crafted towards those beautiful action set pieces um, that had my little feet tapping away, tip tapping away. 
Yeah, the lighting has been getting cooler and cooler over those movies. Like, huge jump in, in, in lighting style between one and two, but then, like, it's been really, really cool. Yeah, I want them to come light my home. Mm. <laughs> or, sorry, Ryan. Have you seen? Had you seen all three? Before? I hadn't seen any John Wicks before. Interesting. But luckily, we are in the Alamo Draft House, in uh, w which in Fight Eye is in a sort of dystopian, uh, empty mall in a basement. Yeah. What feels like seventy floors down. Nobody that it was going to be. I, I came home and I my roommate came home and I was like, "Have you been to the Alamo Draft House in Fight Eye?" And she was like. Yes. Yes. I know what you mean. It's like an and SCP like, yeah. facility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's wrong in there. Um, Let's rest. It just keeps going, and it's maze-like, um, and empty, completely. Like it's this massive, massive mall-like space, but completely empty. Um, of people and yeah, shops. It's so weird. It's like you, you build this fucking space that only like but, but trillionaires can afford to pay rent in and then nobody can afford to pay rent in there. Then it just sits empty except for the Alamo. Yeah. <laughs> like there's this massive like white floored concourse and then you go down escalators and then there's just this like you're on, on you know a very sterile white hallway and there's a huge room next to you but there's no apparent door to it and there's a glass window and it's filled with pianos pianos yeah the weird piano <laughs> and you're like what's this what's this and you go down another floor and there's nothing and then you go down another floor and there's the alamo draft house and you're like where am i and then they send you down another floor and they're like 18 theaters down there and you're like where am i um, yeah, it's super cursed. It was like a good, huge, huge theater. Great yeah. facilities as always. Like food, great. Great um, sound mix. Eating, great. Sound mix, great. So like no complaints about the actual theater itself. I, I'm a, I love going to see movies there, but or in the Alamo Draft House in general. I had only been to this location one time. But, um, oh God, what a surreal experience. Anyway, we were talking about John Wick. Uh, what, did you have any new thoughts about seeing it a second time? Uh, I um, no, not really. I mean, it, it this the second viewing definitely like let me appreciate the action. It, it both let me appreciate the action more than the first time when I was just kind of like overwhelmed by the speed and yeah. spectacle of it all. It also like sort of exposed or reminded me of like the long running problems with John Wick's storyline. Um, yeah. But who cares? It's it's a oh, well. it's, it's stunt guys getting paid, which is something uh -huh. that I enjoy. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, let's let you know, let's visit this this odd little island if we can. I don't think we can dock here. Let's try. Rude. There's a ruined mansion here and a workshop. Ooh. It hasn't been used in decades. Let's go inside. It's locked. I wonder if we can buy this mansion. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, I hope we can buy that mansion. I thank you, um, Laserbeaks, uh, for bringing up Sunless Sea. I was so focused on Moonglow Bay that I forgot about Sunless Sea, which I remember loving when that first came out. Um, oh, God, there were so many bonkers islands to explore in that game. Um, but I never got very far in it because it was so freaking hard, which is, you know, the point. Um, but wow, really cool. All those games have such cool world building. That studio is incredibly good at that. Yeah, I picked up the uh, the Sunless Skies the other day. I haven't mm -hmm. played it all the way. I, mean, I haven't really started it yet. You should tell me when you do. I, I have been meaning to yeah. look into that one. I'm have you played Sunless Skies, Clayton? I don't know if I have actually. That kind of seems like a be your jam. Yeah, let me let me take a peek. Pentasaurus, that is my freaking dream. Okay, and this let's research this so we can do some oceanic fishing. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Uh, hydraulic yeah. rod is now available Whoa. in stores. Nobody talk about the hydraulic rod. <laughs> uh, I can't even afford it. Um, um that's yeah okay. i'll say 
Uh, let, let's sleep. And I think we've also paid off our, our ship debt. Hooray! Yay, Fallen London fans in chat. <laughs> um, I guess we'll do a couple more normal fishing rounds and then hopefully get a uh, get our oceanic rod. <sighs> Still waiting for my. Wow. Okay, so rod is allowed. Interesting. Thanks, Pliablehead, for uh, testing that out. What the hell? Oh, we got a barbed <gasps> a eel. A barbed eel? That's a complicated shape. The spine is broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Okay. Dave. Is that good? Uh. Dave and Nicholas. I see what you're trying. <laughs> Alright, let's take this fish to the fish fishmonger and see what they have to say about it. Um, okay. Ichabod, it... I think that's the cycle with Fallen London. Sorry, go on, Pat. No, no, go ahead. They're playing it for months and then stopping and then coming ah, back and okay. being like, oh my god, what the hell's going on? 1927. So there's also Columbia. messages and bottles you find out there that have like little stories in them. Uh, Well, see, those are all things that are naturally wet, Ryan. Storms are brewing. <laughs> this game, that's... <laughs> What's, what? I, have, I missed something. I'm being bullied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Depleted. Just like me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, pretty, huh? Oh, I want to be playing this little mini game. <laughs> you should. Uh, you should see if you can get code for this game. I think Team Seventeen usually gets us stuff when we need it. Yeah. Yep. I'm just watching. I. I'm purposely not allowing these messages because I want y'all to keep running your little experiment of seeing what words Twitch will allow you to say wet in front of. <laughs> 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 no, you can't do it, Ryan. You can't do it. Not even when you put spaces between the letters. You are not allowed to say that. <laughs> uh, Raylaus? Nope. You can't say that either. <laughs> Oh, uh, Pliable found one that I didn't expect. That's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> fishmonger, fishmonger. <laughs> okay, I hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, Ooh. he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned hmm. handkerchief. All right. Well, I've never seen anything like that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. 
sure you'll Wait, find what? more before long. I'll pay you well if you find more. Okay. Whose cat is that? That's mine. Yeah. Yeah, he yelling. A man is looking through you, looking at you through your cabin <laughs> windows. His face is mostly shadow. Ah, I know what you no, took wait. to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of the bay and cut south. I have a business proposition you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay. It'd have to be Blackstone. <laughs> All right, let's start reading about rods and rigs. All right, Blackstone. Okay, so Blackstone's just there. Okay. Um, oh, that's the, the with the mansion, right? Oh, perhaps it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Geography. Yeah, let's go there. Now let's see if we can afford any different reels first. Uh, oh yeah, we, we can afford an oceanic now. Um, but if I use that, then we won't be able to use one of these. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's um. Oops. Let's ditch the fishing one for now. Ditch the fish. And get the oceanic uh, in there. Pop out. Yes. Oh there we fuck! Go. I refunded it. Okay. Wait. No, I'm fine. No. We're okay. okay. We're okay. You're fine. All right. Store that. All right, let's go on a little trip. Yeah. Uh, we'll go at night. I don't see any problem with that. Seems safe and fine to leave the harbor at night. To leave We're... the cozy embrace of the bay under cover of darkness. Oh, that crimson glow? I, I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I'm so used to it. Let's turn our light on. So we don't hit any rocks. We're gonna have to go nice and slow. Yep, there we go. Trilobite agent says, uh, "Don't you need to bring the handkerchief for the dude to inspect?" I think your storage across islands is connected. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Now we can dock. Yay! Damn it! <laughs> okay, let me see. Oh, there we go. No, it is connected. I just needed okay, to grab okay, it out of there. Okay. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Oh, crimson? Ah, you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carries items of great importance. Ten billion Funko Pops. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, he wants me to dredge Rex. Dredge, dredge, dredge. Um, we should be allowed to be voice actors. I agree. <laughs> I think we should just be voice actors and be, do that. Mm -hmm. So he's, um, he's gonna, so he tells me I need to keep, keep up my fishing job, but he's gonna give me dredging equipment, I think. Yes, dredge crane. Um... The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would key. encourage you to ask around towns and shipwrecks <coughs> about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything like that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Groovy. Mm, so let's see what he's done. What Search for done? the relics. Yo, what was that? Yo, Vociferous Crow, thank you very, very much. Yay, thank you. Oh, cool. So we got a dredge crane now. Let's, uh, the workshop. Okay, workshop is still locked. Let's get out of here. Locked. Yeah, there was, there was some jetsam and or flotsam over this way. 
I know one of those is things that are thrown off, and the other one is things that fall off. Hmm. Interesting. I think jetsam is the ones that you throw off because jettison, jet jetsam. That makes yeah. That's right, yep. Faith. Yes. Faith knows. <laughs> <laughs> Galumper says, Dredge Crane is the brother Fraser and Niles don't speak to <laughs> anymore. Damn it. Ah, ah, ah. Disturbed water. Uh, Alright, well, let's go ask around for, uh, for Rex. I think there's one here, perhaps? Yes. Heck yeah. Dredge. Okay, so start dredging. F. Press F to avoid, uh, to, to, oh, okay, so I gotta change lanes to avoid the oh, gaps. Oh, cool. Cool, Ooh. cool. Cool! Hmm. Yeah! That was fun. Okay, I wow, I love mechanics. Ring. That's great! Tiny items that can fit in single squares! That's very Probably cool. high value, though. Yeah. <gasps> ah, F. Ooh, can we do some oceanic fishing here? Yes. A bronze oh, whaler. That. That. Whoa, oh, interesting shape. Yeah. That yeah. seems like a, a a species that, you know, we shouldn't be hunting. But fair enough. It was like the 1920s or we whatever. We should just stick to the Where ancient evils. Give a shit. Yes, you know. only like, like cod. Ancient evils like cod. <laughs> Another bottle. Yay. Cod is one of those things where I see the place is like, we make our fish and chips with cod. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Attic is good. But a place that I've been to more than once, and I only tried once, <laughs> the fish and chips was monkfish. Oh. Never had monkfish. Which is not, it didn't, it, it's not, it's not good for fish and chips. I'll just say uh, that much. Okay. okay doesn't attach to the fry very well kind of kind of mealy just i'm not sure why they why they do that they're trying to be a little fancy doesn't work i went to um uh... we can keep dredging here oh dredge 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 yes <laughs> um oh yeah uh this Lumber. uh place called lyle's in london that does you know like local ingredients english food and it's really really freaking good um and they had a monkfish on the menu the night that i went and it's like a we got the wine paired menu so you there's like you know oh. it, they decide the courses for you you don't order um and i i was nervous because i'm not a fish person like i don't really eat fish um, sounds like something for... a fish person would say trying to maintain no! cover <laughs> I mean, it's actually, I shouldn't even bother. Simone, do you have uh, relatives in Innsmouth? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Good. Um, but I really liked it. I was like, well, what do I have to eat? go to a freaking Michelin starred restaurant to be able to eat fish? Because that's really annoying of me. Um, but I learned that it was good. So, yes. Wow. Oh, very Stop. good, pliable. Um, okay, so let's go to the fishmonger. Let's offload our fish. Yes, wait, <laughs> hang on. Oh, cool. Wait, no, I don't have this fish yet. Okay, I need to find one of these. A black grouper which hangs out in the shallows. Um, so let's sell the rest of this shit. There we go. Um, the builder is here. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? I don't want to talk about it. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? <laughs> Shall I always keep moving forward, moving along. I don't want to move along. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard of, Steel Point, just to the north. 
Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. Oh. Can make a new place for myself there too. You're welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. All right, we got a new task there. Hang on, I gotta let Nikki out. He just peed. Oh, like oh, oh, on something. Oh well, well we'll find out. Clayton, so how's your relationship with fish? I I'm fine with fish. Um, you know, there's some. Stinky fish is bad, but <laughs> no. Uh, what you know, is it? I'll do the uh, smoked salmon. I'm guessing that's not a thing you'll even touch. There's a spot near the back of Great and Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Wait, who's playing the game? Some nights you can see <laughs> an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So, if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Thank you, Dark Souls dot, on PC. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, cabin, what are we doing? We're reading <laughs> still. Alright, we want to go around the back of Greater Marrow then. That's the point that she marked for us. Uh, Wait, what were you saying, Clayton? <laughs> don't, don't and who was saying. phone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's uh, also we're going to store some lumber. Sure. We're going to take this ring and sell that at some point too, but not yet. All right, let's rest. Oh my god. My be real went off an hour ago. Oh no, you're fake. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm just doing it. I'm just posting it now. I guess that that's the most real thing you could do at this point, yeah. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, the most real thing anyone can do is just post. <laughs> oh, I, th wow. I think I see the the bit that she's talking about. Let's go around there. I have to say, my friends are posting some pretty real shit. Shit, man, that wasn't the way. Yeah. Okay. Salmon to roach fish. Ryan got there. <laughs> <laughs> be real you're right angel beater beat fly we are being real right now just r-e-e-l yeah i That's wonder if being the real. tide comes up oh. check here. a pile of loose debris clearing this would take some strong explosives okay so hmm. i need to get explosives to open up new paths hmm. fun intriguing Let's uh, yeah, smoked salmon is right out for me, Clayton. You don't like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not a salmon fan, which is terrible because <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but <laughs> I come from the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's where... got to be tough. Yeah. Well, not, not, not too tough to avoid, but it's sad to not enjoy the, the famous cuisine of my people. Um, to have it flung at me by the fishmen of Pike Place Market. Interesting shaped fish we got around here. <laughs> Ryan, thank you. Just always follow behind me and uh, actually, no, throw yourself in front of me to receive the salmon. <laughs> like a seal. Yeah. <laughs> What is Pirates of Dark Water? I don't D know. Green Machine wants to see a, a game somewhat like this. That is Pirates of Dark Water. Wait, I have a Dark vague Water. memory of Pirates of Dark Water now. Is it some kind of film? You've been yeah, cartoon right. It was the cartoon show, show from the 90s, yeah. Uh huh. These fish over here look special. Oh boy, it's getting dark. Kep up, stranger. I saw that people were talking about this. Uh, yeah, we do call potato wedges JoJo's up there. I got a snag squid. Tasting tongues writhed wildly. 
around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Oh, fuck I don't like yeah. It. It's fucked up. The things that live under there? Wow. I don't, I don't think that's a real thing, but maybe. Oh, no. I think it is. I'm going to Google it right now, and I'll tell you that it's definitely real. All right, let's go Snag home. squid. Snag squid. Snag. Snag. Hmm. hmm. I don't know, guys. This might not be a real squid. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow, but look at them. Squids. Yeah, they're squids? fucked up. They're really smart, right? Like There are a lot of weird squids out there. Are squids smart, or is it just octopuses that are smart? <sighs> That's a great question. Octopods are generally pretty smart, but I think there are some octopi that are the smartest ones. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some cuttlefish, too, but I don't know. Pedalfish? Cuttlefish. 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 Okay. <laughs> They're like a halfway between an octopus and a squid. Right, selling some high value <laughs> fish real quick here. There you go. Uh, sitting on a decent amount of money here. Let's see if we can um, build anything at the ship right. All right. This would need wood and a and screws, one piece of scrap which I don't have. And this would <laughs> need wood and oh, I can make net. I can make a bigger net. Let's, let's do that. Let's do it. Catch more. Make a bigger net. So let's go to my storage. Let's pull out this. There we go. Go to the dry dock. Crazy bot says. If I didn't already hate seafood, I certainly do now. <laughs> yes, sheep fish are the ones with human nice. teeth. Ryan Sinera, thank you. Yes, very scary. Um, okay, cool. Very bad to see. Basic trawl net now available in stores. Teeth. Oh, sick, so we can get like a trawler net. That's fun. Um, Cool. All right, this catches coastal fish passively. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. Starting to do a little automation. Lasts for one day. Oh, so it's maybe it's a thing you have to replace or get repaired. Let's try it though. Can't believe I just had to allow suckers. Mm. That just feels like one of those things where it's like, well, then why, what, why do we, what? <laughs> I'm having trouble say. articulating. When, when you, okay. when you, when, when you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, okay. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alien Monkey 42 says, Polygon Crew, did you know that technically octopuses do not have tentacles? And then Trilobite said, oh yeah, tentacles apparently only have suckers on the tips? Question mark. And uh, followed by, wow, Automod didn't like that one. Um, and Alien Monkey 42 says, yep. Which leads me j just, then, then I don't know, but th what? <laughs> <You know? laughs> but we, what, why, what, what, what are they then? Arms. <laughs> okay, but why don't we just why don't why don't we just change the definition of tentacles since it seems kind of useful? You know, like, is there another use for that that is like? Yeah, yeah I thought. So. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I, I'm not a scientist. I can't contribute to this conversation. Yes. But it's just like it's just messing with me. Yeah, Galumfer. Uh, yes, the tentacle thing is like fish not being real or vegetables. True. It's just category tickling, says Ryan. Yes. Kind of yeah, quick. just change the word. <laughs> uh. I love that this is called disturbed water. Every time I see that, it yeah. tickles me. Oop. Wow. Fuck. 
hearing something gurgling in the deep. Is that good? Probably. Cool. Oh shit, I can't fit any more of these guys on here. Ooh, a ray. Limb nuggets. Fuck. Where, where can I fit a ray? My friend, Mr. Romano here would like to get on the boat. <laughs> hmm. Noodly appendage. I want noodles. Gosh. Yeah, let's just go, uh, let's go drop these off in this town and see about selling that ring, too. Hmm. Pawn that ring we found on the bottom of the sea. <laughs> grieving father. We love those. Uh-oh. Oh. Clayton, do you want to be grieving father? Hello, is, is everything okay? You know any shipwrecks around here, Mac? <laughs> well, yes, yes, you, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. And did he have any treasure on him at the time? He's, uh, <laughs> he's still out there somewhere. One of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark water. Yeah, I'll make sure any belongings he have make it back okay. Alright. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I, I was wondering, uh, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. Especially if they were made of gold. <laughs> uh, he wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. <laughs> Anything else I can help you? Alright, bye-bye. Uh, Trader Joe's. My storage, take out the ring. <laughs> Go, Barman. I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> uh. right. Yeah, let's help this sad dad find his son's pants. <laughs> Belt buckle and grave. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our Simone. What is happening to Sail. Simone? Belt buckle uh, always worn. Uh, <laughs> oh, hang oh, on. What the fuck is that? I'm sure it's fine, Pat. Don't worry about it. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. 
It's just a totally pristine boat floating in the water in the middle of the night. What's what's there to see and get excited about? Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? Just checking if you're okay. Do I see him okay? I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan. Oh, God, I don't like that. Looks out in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. It, its gaping mouth just below the boat would have swallowed his vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package. Yeah, give me that thing. Why not? Uh-oh. Well, hang on then. Well, dang. Yeah. All right, lumpy. lumpy. Dark fluid oozes. Out See of the that? Hmm. Now, he, well, he's not sure what it is, but he heard the faintest of whispers coming from it. So that's cool. There's nothing wrong with the package. It just whispers sometimes. It's very normal. Hey. Oh, I'm hearing so the that's... whispering too. Now, your fear meter seems to be going a little wild. It certainly does, Simone. Let's head back towards the light. Oh no. Everyone in chat is enjoying finding a new phrase that they're not allowed to say. She rises way hey, up, she rises way hey, up, she rises early in the morning. Is that the only verse? Are you going to keep going? That's, yeah, that's that. I'm just going to leave it there, I think. Okay. Hey, Tunic won a BAFTA. Cool. Sick. Nice. The tunic won a BAFTA sounds like something a bounty hunter in Star Wars would say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Ah! Big rock. Ah! Oh, scary. Oh, you scare oh, me. Your hole was damaged. Hole damaged. Hey, Tunic won a BAFTA. <laughs> Stop. You're gonna hurt me. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we're gonna need to repair our ship now, which is a pain because it costs money. 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 Money, please. And without your ship, you can't afford to keep working to order. Is capitalism yeah. the real monster here? It might we gotta go into debt. S somebody should make a game about that. Somebody make mm -hmm. yeah. a game about those themes. Uh, correct engine operation. Okay, so we have learned that. Let's l read a new book. Um, nice. Getting over it with mind and body. So, okay, so far the books I've read have given me... Okay, cool. Are they all little jokes about indie games? Are they? Oh, one of them is called yep. Getting Over It. Let's see what the other one was called. Yeah. Sustainable... No, I think these are all just... Okay. Just little things. <laughs> Huh. All right, the mayor is reminding me to sleep. Rude. We're adults. We can make our own decisions. Oh. What? I'm going to go get a cookie. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Just letting you know, I could also get a cookie, but I'm not going to abandon you. Thank you, Clayton. I appreciate that. I'll wait. Um, I love what, the, what, what kind uh, of cookies do you have? I just like some chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Pretty basic, but those are nice though. You know, I hit a home run with those every time. I like the uh, RGB separation at the edges. 
Yeah, that that starts happening when you start. You get those chromatic aberrations when you uh, when your panic is getting higher. Okay, I was um, wondering if that's yes. what I'm back. Yeah. Welcome back. What All kind right. of cookie? Um, one of the people who came to my Grand Prix party left the. They like a one of those sets of different kinds of Japanese cookies. Ooh. So mm. it's a soft cookie. It won't crunch. I'm gonna find out what's inside. Some kind of exciting paste. Ooh, paste! Secret paste! Mm -hmm. Mystery paste! Alright, let's head across to uh, Little Whatever and... Um... What are the names of the... Uh... What are the names of those cookies that come in a blue tin? Hmm. Oh, oh right. It's, the... it's often sewing supplies. Chips yeah. Ahoy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. This is a... Like Swedish butter cookie or something. Royal Danish. Dansk. 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 Yeah, the it's Royal Dansk. Dansk. Yeah. And I literally did have a grandmother who had a tin of those that very rarely was cookies, but was usually full of sewing supplies, like mm -hmm. thread and needles and things. Um, so very disappointing. So I just remember this year we actually got some tins. And they're also like three bucks a tin. I was shocked how cheap they were for cookies. Um, pretty good. Pretty good cookies. Mm -hmm. They all pretty much taste the same, even though there's like five different varieties in them. Oh yeah. Sorry hmm. that it was just clicking for me the the cookies that you were. Okay, you're right. The about. pretzel one was better because it was crispier bake because there's less surface area, or more, I guess more surface area. Those and the nice, sugar. Yeah. There, not every one of them has sugar on top. So yes, you're right. Those are better. I'm not pleased with my current fishing setup here. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna swap this out. It's good to recognize where you could improve. Thank you. My I'm doing my performance review on my fishing craft. Yeah. <laughs> Your hour and a half performance review. Let's ask the mayor if he knows about any weird shit. Uh, any strange occurrences? I heard my counterpart in Little Mero at the most unfortunate end. They say he went quite mad suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Okay, any shipwrecks? Okay, you don't. Oh, I'm back though. There's Rex deeper patches. <laughs> I don't like the way they talk about the deeper patches. Um. Mm. <laughs> right, let's go to the ship. Entertainment right. editor's evil twin. <laughs> 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 all right. Let's uh, let's make sure that we've sold all of our fishies. There's some kind of tin that I got from a candy store in Paris. I keep paintbrushes in it. I don't. I can't see the brand from where I'm sitting though. Whoa! I didn't realize there was this many different God, things you can build. I oh, cool! You can eventually build. I love upgrading a ship. Oh, yes! Cool. Ooh. Oh, when you can get crab and like crab pots in Moonglow Bay, that's a good moment. It's skipping over pots right now. Maybe I'm missing some mm. essential component, but that's cool. No. Uh, bigger boat. Bigger boat! Did I miss a bigger boat option? Are we gonna need a bigger boat? I mean, at some point you got uh, it yeah. in this game, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. No, we just want one. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh, you can get a new but hole. It, yeah. yeah. Tier 2 hole adds oh. five new cargo spaces. I thought you said new oh. hole. I get a I new did hole. Also... Yeah, this like this keeps happening to me. Yeah? People misunderstanding you out there? All right, let's sleep till the morning, and then let's go out there and get some fish. Let's get this fish. I asked for a bigger hole, and when I woke up, my boat sank. I don't get it. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll work. Denied, I'll work shop, right? liable. <laughs> Wait, Hannah, I wanted to get rid of this net. Thank you for uh, trusting us with your 
uh, type five Clayton. Yeah, this material's not quite ready yet, but you know, you gotta work it out. I think it has a lot of promise. Me too. Whoop ba ba ba. Whoop a de do. Okay. Uh, let's go do some oceanic fishing and some tra some trawling. I am always saying this. She rises, we she rises. Hey, hey. It's a nice rainy day out. Oh, I love this. Uh... Now that my video is done and I'm like, I feel the sense of freedom. So I, maybe I should just play video games tonight. You should, that, that'd be really fun. You should try gaming. Whoa. I should try gaming. Listen to me. I, <laughs> What was that automated for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you uh, for watching the video. I oh, just... no. <sighs> Go ahead. No, no, it's okay. I'm just thinking about the auto modding situation. Go on, finish your thought about the game that we are playing uh, on stream. I don't think I had a thought. I, th I thought I was just exclaiming as something was happening. I Many such cases for me, I'll be <laughs> honest with you, Pat. The times when I just say something for no fucking reason. Mm. That's streaming, baby. That's streaming. We're just out here talking. Having conversations. Thinking about things. Slick stuff. Neat stuff. <laughs> can, can you do... If you start saying that and see if people know what that is. Okay. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start, but then a friend of mine said something that made all kinds of sense. He said, think of it as more of a conversation. A conversation. I like that. What I'm already finding out on my own is that it's wiping out the walls between me and you. And I really like that. It lets us into each other's worlds, or in this case, a hotel room. When I think about the kinds of things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. <laughs> but most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this because that's just who I am. So if this is truly a conversation that I say, let the conversation begin. <laughs> that's the only thing I have memorized. I, I have Hail Mary and that memorized. It's really, really good. Thanks. If I ever uh, audition and I need a, a, a monologue piece to audition, I'm going to do Garth Brooks' first Facebook post. <laughs> 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 I just, I feel like you've really explored those words. Like, you've done a close read. I have, you've yeah. Broken it down. <laughs> you've thought about his intentionality with each line and how it would be said. Um, it's so such good. a fun video. Um, everybody mm -hmm. go Google Garth Brooks' first Facebook video, or first Facebook post. All right. Huh. Whoop. And then I, I don't think he did any posts after that. Incredible. Good. One one shot. <laughs> well, he yeah, he made the perfect post. That's true. It's no to need to post that. again. It's the slickest, rawest, realest thing that he could have posted. I think we can do another upgrade now. Let's see. Try and dock. Two engine spaces, plus one light space. That modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. That could be useful. Mm, I think I can do you that. You can hold two rods? That's right, Simone. Damn. In your hole? That's right, Simone. <coughs> no, I actually don't have what I need for that. Good. 
Okay, yeah, so none of these are actually going to make my ship bigger, which is going to be a pain in the ass until I can afford this next upgrade. Um, <laughs> That's frustrating. Yeah. Because we are running out of cargo space. We are. We're running out of cargo space fairly often. That's okay, though. Let's get out there. Let's get out there and have fun. So we don't, we're not worrying about bait in this one. Uh, no, there is no baiting okay. as far as I know. Cool. Yeah. That's, I think, one difference between, I mean, obviously there are several differences between this and Moongle Bay, but a Moongle Bay uh, inventory, as far as I remember, is not an issue, but you do have to craft bait oh, um, yeah, or yeah. buy bait. So, um, yeah, I think the, uh, the limiting factor in this one is more like how, you know, how much stuff do you want to try to pack into your ship for the journey back? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flounder. Hardly know her. Hey. Uh... Ooh. Cyclopean flounder. Love to see that. A sprawling jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. Yes. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. Whoa. Whoa. Center of a what? Egg. Egg. Wait a minute. It's an eyeball fish. Which is a big egg ball. God, yeah, I got barely any room in this sh ship for my shit. Got too much shit on me. All right, let's go sell that right can quick. We, can we store any of those upgrades, like, in the meantime? So oh, the okay. ones that I have here are, this is the one that lets us do deep sea fishing, and this is the one that okay. lets us do regular fishing, or it lets yeah, us do fair skimming. Enough. Um, more ponderer that's why you'll never grow rich off the fruits of the sea god this game's so pretty it is uh, I, I mean I know I get that maybe it's a bad situation but I kind of want to live here okay <laughs> is that so wrong only at night like it seems like it's very nice in the day yeah Cabin. All right, reading that book net I don't have anything on it. Yeah, I got a weird eyeball fish. Cool. We love those. Yeah, you want that? Anybody want this? But I want my weird eyeball fish. All right, let's really <laughs> get out there and do some oceanic shit, like I said we were going to do. Please, yes. Like, how far can we go? We also haven't trawled anything for a while. Oh. Oh, man, this... This reminds me of, I was telling you that uh, when we were filming an overboard about the Firth bathysphere. Oh, yes, the yes, first, yes. The first bathysphere. Um, so a bathysphere is, it's just kind of a metal orb with portholes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you stick a hose in it so it has air inside. Um, like it's, it's a very simple thing. And, it's, and then it's lowered like with a chain from a boat. <laughs> um, and so this was the first way anybody did some deep sea exploration. Um, and I think it was in the, like the 1930s. Uh, these two guys, they make the first bathysphere and they're going to go down to look in the deep sea ocean to see if there's anything's there. And they're really wondering if there was anything down there. Um, there was this at the time, and I guess pretty much considered the idea for centuries was called abyssal theory. And it was that there was nothing that lived below a certain depth. The deep oceans were just empty, dark spaces of nothingness, um, where some very large, scary creatures might live, but otherwise they're not teeming with life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, when they went down this thing, the technology was bad, the oceans were rough. It's a metal ball. They're getting bashed around in this like it's a little <sighs> pan, um, and they're getting hurt, they're getting injured, they're getting concussed. But they don't die. They make it. They make it down to the deep oceans, and then through these portholes, they start seeing an abundance of sea creatures, like all the ones you see in those David Attenborough not nature docs that are like crazy, spindly, glowy. It was yeah. It was very fucked up to see that because they were in a mental state that was like you know partially concussed. Yeah. Um, and there was also before like photography could make out what was in this very dark water. So all they had were their visual descriptions and also they were drawing and I think even painting some of this stuff. And what's really cool is that that art still exists. You can see like what these people who kind of saw this stuff for the first time 
and try to describe it and draw it. Um, some of that stuff is animals we've seen today. A lot of it is stuff we've never seen, we've never discovered, probably because mm -hmm. it didn't exist, probably because they were concussed and could not tell what they were seeing. And some of the stuff is like close to real animals, but clearly like described in a way that was drawn incorrectly or painted incorrectly. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. There's some very big fish that they thought they saw that kind of look like predatory fish that have nothing like uh... them has ever been discovered. So that's weird. Maybe it was just some kind of deep sea shark, but yeah, that story, I, I, mean... I should just double check the names. Bathysphere, because... I mean, we did a... the, like, coelacanth. They, I think, saw it in 1930-something and then didn't see it again till a couple years ago. And we were like, is that guy extinct? He's not. He's still out there. Um, uh, so so I William be Beebe... And Otis Barton, if you ever want, you want to look up this story, it's probably a lot of detail I left out and some stuff I may have gotten a little wrong. But it was very interesting to learn about this, especially Did just you... that they thought nothing was down there before anybody yeah. went down there. Did you say where they went down? Uh, it's a, near Bermuda, which okay. you can pretty quickly get to very deep water out there. Yeah. Um, why? Why? Why what? Why would I be get to, to get to deep water quicker somewhere versus somewhere else? It's just how fast the continental shelf goes down. There was a... Um, I'm wrong about the coelacanths, but go on. Oh, the con... But, but water. Water's deep. I think Bermuda is on like a volcano, the top of an ancient volcano. But... but the Pretty quickly, as you get away from Bermuda, the water, it, the, the land okay. just goes, like, straight okay. down. Okay, I mean, the, okay, yeah. okay. So it's not about the vertical descent, it's about the horizontal travel before the vertical descent. Bermuda water. Hmm. I mean, there's lots of very, you know, it's an area where big ships are going, because it's, yeah. it's, it's the big oceans, but there's also areas of it that are extremely shallow and rocky and perfect for taken down boats yeah hmm. oh hello I, everything makes sense to me galumfer in caves i love that that's cool for them Here, I want, i'm trying to find this did y'all hear that yeah i heard that Somebody answered our Fog foghorn. Horn. Whoa! I thought that was just us honking twice. Huh. Huh. Just happened the one time? Yeah. Freaky! Uh. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Something ah. slithers into your cargo hold? No! No! Oh no! 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 Wait a minute. All right, my. They're eating our big find. Uh, the, oh. The sailfish, the fastest fish in the sea. All right, we gotta get this guy and try to sell him quick. Get him! Get him! Get him! Don't slither into my cargo hold. I am always saying this. They just old man in the seed me. You see. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you for reminding me to rest. Uh, Take yeah. this decrepit fish from me. Better than sliding into the DMs, am I right? That's right. Um, alright, can we build anything in the dry dock? Did he take your disgusting fish? He did, <laughs> yes. He took my disgusting Yay. fish and oh, he sold good. it. Let's sleep so we can be more sane. Yeah. That was cool, though. We uh, that that was the furthest out we've been, and we caught a fish that we hadn't seen before. Yeah, it was a really cool fish. I'm still. I guess my guy's still feeling a little insane. Maybe it's because the uh, the things that we saw. The thing that slithered into our ship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That I that also happened did to us. read some eldritch scrawlings on a rock, and then I touched the rock, and I got no. some visions. So. Oh, I was thinking about. 
Clayton's story of bathospheres when that happened, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are these? I don't. I don't need those. Yeah, we're sick of those. I see we something don't bubbling out there. Oh yeah. Galumfer says, if you could just say that again in a Ralphie voice, please. Who's Ralphie? I don't know. Oh, wait, from um, Simpsons? That's technically just Ralph. No, that's just Ralph. Yeah. Galumfer, explain. Galumfer, explain. Black Fintuna, yum yum. Explain, your explain yourself. <laughs> oh, nummy, nummy, nummy. Ooh, a different kind of mini game. That. Oh, I'm most pleased. That's cool. Yes. I'm, it's so exciting to find new fish. <laughs> uh, it's yes. like one of those Tumblr posts where it's like someone from the uh, ancient. Uh, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, Maybe a lot of people would be excited are we all to find really... a new fish. <laughs> <laughs> We're all mentally here and really good at articulating ourselves this afternoon. Yeah. Fish. Wait, is that something huge under there? What's that shadow? That's the little is that island, a cloud? I think. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just the... I what did we dredge up? We some, got some chain. Oh. Old iron chain. Why wouldn't you put it in the one square that's in the corner that nothing else could go in? Uh, I don't know. You're not the boss okay. of me. You're not the boss of me. Um, uh, maybe you are, I guess. Actually, technically, you kind of are. I think mean, technically, uh, I'm not. No, I don't report to you. You're right. Yeah. What do we get this to? A broken monocle. Oh. There you go. I put it in the spot you wanted it to go in. I wasn't the spot. Oh, wait. Did you? I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Thanks. you. Thank you. We got some big fishies out here. Let's catch one of them. Bring Ooh, it out. Oh, big! Oh, they they went away. No, they're back. Okay. You got supper for a whole month. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Black tip reef shark. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, where are we gonna fit that? No. Really, you really uh, shouldn't be hunting those. We'll make we'll make room. Yeah, because you could move the single items to the bottom corner. Right. Yeah, we can definitely make room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharky. Perfect. Yeah, oh, good enough. It's not. That's that just how it's gotta be. All right, let's head back. Yeah. Before There's we go too crazy. Yeah. All right, and we definitely gotta I love make sure that. The way the lighthouse looks, like the fact that you can see it from so far away. I like that. Yeah, it, it like works it's like functioning a like an actual yeah. lighthouse. Yeah. Right, we gotta go home slow though, so we don't. Hang on, there's a ship. Hello. Hey, let me let Hello? me foghorn him. Fog him. I hope that this doesn't go poorly for us. They're answering. Okay, I see them. I think. Let's say hello. Oh, there they are. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh no, that's not a oh, fish. Uh, no, that's wait a, a minute. Ship. Oh wait a minute. my god. Wait a minute. It was. Oh my god, that was a sea creature pretending to be a fish. Or a, wow. Yeah, like an angler. Oh! I think that's another one over there. Okay. Don't fog them. Yeah, maybe. We're gonna lose our fish. Watch out for those rocks. Yeah, you're right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. -o. Guys, you're not going to believe this, but the ocean's really fucked up. Yeah, hey guys! <laughs> Has anybody... anybody... Anybody heard of these things? Ah! Ah! What the f... No. No, let's go find out what that is. That yeah. seems fine. Investigate it. Oh yeah, I need one of these. Okay. 
Sure. Did they take something from us? No, they damaged the underside oh. of our ship. Fuck. Yeah. All right. What 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 shape? You are just a simple square. Um. Okay. Okay. We gotta Damn. do some thinking that... here. I could I could lose one of these uh, tuna. I definitely need one of these though. I just need four sequential open spaces. You gotta use that up. Yeah, that spot at the top. Okay. You can move the tuna. In oh there. yeah, tuna. Well, you didn't have to move that, actually. Move the tuna, you said? Yeah, um, to move it in the little thing that takes one spot. Yeah, because you can Remember turn the tuna sideways yeah. and put the tuna above the engine. Patrick. What? No. What? Yeah, you could put the shark back exactly where it was. Okay. No, it was rotated the other way. One more. Rotate. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can do I, this. No, no, I know. This is the sorry, yeah. You rotated the, the shark. I'm, I'm inviting yeah. too much outside energy into my mental process here. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, but. What? What? What do you want, Simone? <laughs> I just you want do... you to put the shark back the way it was. Where was it? Yeah, Tell me where original... it was. So move the right salmon you just moved. Yeah, you got to move that salmon that you just put there. The, the tuna? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Now rotate and turn the shark. Turn the shark right side up. Okay. Nope. What? No. Nope. You keep no. going too many times. Back once. <laughs> Counterclockwise. Okay, keep going. That was, yeah, that there, was the way around. There. Right there. No, no, exactly no. there. Yes, okay. Exactly okay. there. Yes. Now okay. move the top thing, and you've got four squares at the top. I can't. I can't move the top thing. Why not? Wait, what? That, that, yeah, that, that's that's a piece of equipment in my ship. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was something that no. you picked so up. So I think you actually can rotate the shark oh in another spot, though. All right. Yeah, let's try that. I apologize. Yeah, and then over the side, up in the corner, the top corner, top other corner. corner. There you go. There we go. Uh, okay. st there's still no three. Oh yeah, because you can't move the fishing rod. Jeez. Okay. Oh, this is so frustrating. Um. So I think I was I was. You really can't it. move that piece of equipment wait, wait, yeah, to yeah, the next no, spot no, over. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What? Are you, can you move that other tuna? Yeah. Is definitely. there a way we can get the shark in the side? Yeah. Then put the shark right up against the side where that was. Oh no, it doesn't rotate that way. Oh my god. Oh my god. This shark was designed to ruin my life. <laughs> it <I'm> really <laughs> was. Alright, but you know, let me see if I can get rid of that somehow. Hang on. You you sit there. You yeah, I can't discard it right now. This is multiplayer Tetris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. God yeah, if we could just get rid of that. Yeah, th I can't move what's above the monocle because that's the engine. Uh, or the thing next to it. All right. They really got wait, us. What? Wait, wait, wait. So before you you can't move the engine over one place because I thought that you could move. I you adjusted the engines before. No. So yeah, the engine can only fit in these four squares. So if a piece of the engine is sticking out from there, it won't work. Okay. Yeah, engine needs to be okay. contain contained within here. Things that aren't engine can be in here, but uh, this but, has but, to be but. a component. Yeah. The engine could move over one and still be within. Those no, it squares. couldn't because this right here is part of the engine, and this is not a. Then this would be in this square, and this square cannot contain okay. this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, uh, I'm keeping this, this, this black grouper. I'm going to do it. Um, well, do you need the shark? I mean, like you said, you needed That's the other true. thing. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I the think shark is just the fucking. I don't. You right. can't take it and the Fuck big it. thing. You know, That's I'm going to yeah, get rid of this crack bulb. We don't, I don't want to crack bulb anymore. We don't have it anymore. It's gone. Oh. I threw it into the ah, sea. Ah, that's literally the thing that we were ch talking yeah, about. Yeah, but I don't I, like I don't have it anymore now. Okay. That, that, that was a, okay. That was that was <laughs> suboptimal because now I need to buy a new light. But it's okay because I want. That's fine. I want to take these things home. All right. <laughs> just broke your light off your boat to fit a shark. Fuck in it. it. <laughs> yeah, oh I, go on for. I don't think you can access the storage menu from that particular page. Um, we are about yeah. to go. Not only us in real life, but our character in the game is about to go so insane. <laughs> the whole world Not is turning of the, red. The horrors outside. It's just that you can't fit your fish in here, right? 
Fuck! <laughs> Stupid hole, not big enough. Why's the engine gotta go here? <laughs> go, Barman says. Oh no, no birds! Bulb having ass. No! Oh no! no! Go away! Go away! No, there's birds! Go sun away! Sun is rising. Leave us alone! Ugh. We we gotta sleep. Stop telling me to sleep. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Are okay if see fog shapes rest careful nightmares. You stumble past him into town. I sure do, because I got some fish to sell. Uh, the birds, I think, steal stuff off of your ship. Damn. And we will not let them. We shan't. Wow, everyone, thanks for hanging with us while we attempted to play fucking Tetris with these fish. Oh, cool, he gave me a crab pot. That's nice. Ability unlocked. Deploy crab pot. Don't forget where you, where you put it. Cool. I Come like that. Come back in a day or two. Check on it. All right, now sell all fish. There we go. That's a pretty penny for the fish. <sighs> um, crazy, it might be like that, yeah. Cabin. All right, we're working on that. We want a common crab and a fiddler crab. Sure, we can make either of those happen. Um, let's buy a new light. <sighs> can she repair our hole too? Oh yeah, she should. She should repair our hole. Repair all. There we go. There we go. Yay! Well, that'll help a lot. Yes. We but still have annoying hole damage. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, if you, I would move your fishing rod down, maybe, because I feel yeah, like that okay. little corner is not as useful. I guess yeah. you're gonna have a lot of things that are two, so that'll no, fit that's at the top. Fair. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, and then we'll go sell these across the the way. Um. Rotate you. Um, could it, the other, could the reel also be moved down? No. Okay. No, that one is, is where it is. Okay. Big and chalky. All right, we got a better lens anyways now, so there we go. Yay. A cloudy lens. All right, we will sleep. <laughs> Our poor guy. That's a lot of sleep. Yeah. Feels good. Mm hmm I love sleeping so much. It's so cool. Me too. Mm -hmm. It keeps fixing me. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I just have to sleep? I feel better? It's wild. Has anyone heard about this? Let's, uh, let's, let's drop a crab pot out here and see, see if let's we... Let's do it get any crabs get any mm -hmm. crabs out here all right any crabs out here crab pot deployed no nope. Simone you won't have a you don't like the fish but what about the crabs I do not like them I like them less yeah. than I like the fish incredible I'll eat fried shrimp fried shrimp okay like in sushi crunchy roll and I'll eat crab in California roll but I won't eat lobster. You won't pull the meat out of their legs? No, I won't pull the meat out of their legs. My rules are arcane and unknowable. Oh, yeah, ah. I got some stuff for you. There you go. Welcome. $20 of trinkets sold. Trinkets sold. I like this game. I think it is really cool. I might keep playing this after we stop streaming. Yeah. <laughs> might just say, hmm, let's keep, a, keep that rolling. Keep it rolling along. Sailing along. Now, can one of y'all look up how much this game costs? Yeah. I will see also what platforms it's on. Good idea. Dredge. 
game. You can play it on Steam. But according to the Google, it is also a Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox One, and more. Hmm. And it costs twenty four ninety nine. Nice. Thank you. It's also available on GOG if you want to go that no oh, cool. DRM route. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Do you think this would be good on Steam Deck? Definitely. Ooh, shit. That's a great point. Ooh. It seems Ooh. like the menus yeah, are, are laid out pretty well, and, and that kind of Tetris thing is... Yes. Pretty fun yeah, that. there's definitely full controller support. Um, nice. So, uh, but I just have not tried it yet. But yeah, I'll probably try that out tonight. After uh, I beat Metroid, maybe this will become my. Uh, oh, are you replaying Prime? I, I yeah, I'm, I'm at the um, I'm at the point where I'm just collecting the uh, artifacts. Right, right. Yeah, I remember. And that. I've gotten most of them, and then I can go fight the but the big boss. The big boss. Big boss. Boss. Boss, boss is in there. Ooh, that's a no, big they both fishy just... down there. Just the the Metal Gear Solid Three scene, except Sama shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't say anything. Right, <laughs> let's cast our crab pots out here. Bloop. I like the noise. Bleep, bloop. bloop. And that's... I wonder... I, hmm. So when we pull up the crab pots, whatever we get, we'll also probably have to go in that... Yeah, yeah. Inventory. 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 Ooh, but at least that's, that's kind of a way to here. store things. Yeah. Yeah. These look like special sharks over here. Let's see if we catch a special one. The juiciest wizard says, would love to see a maritime rom-com life sim in the... Have I got the game for you? <laughs> okay, it's it's not a rom-com. Um, you rotate both of them, yeah, vertically. You might fit them in that way. He goes there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Moon glowing. Ah, uh, we gotta run. No, no, oh, no. What? what the fuck is that? Oh, it's that? like a angler fish. Yeah. We were literally busy with Fuck. our inventory we lost Leave our us... big shark no holy crap i just ripped it right out damn that's so rude all right we got to be more careful about going out at night why is your shark oh bullying held for bullying pliable head thanks for bullying us I really appreciate it. <laughs> Check pot. Hey, well, we at least got a crab out of it. That's good. And we have room for it because it That's took our fucking shark. Crab. Oh my god. Yeah. Uncomfortable with that. Ooh. Hey, yeah. Ooh. I love how consistently you approach the bay from this horrifying angle. <laughs> I feel like it it's fucking us. around with me and inserting those rocks in places where they're not always there. I kind of feel like it is too. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it has to be. Yeah, that is a huge crab, huh? Common crabs are much smaller. Um, wow, deliver crabs. Crab delivered. Well, let's go repair our ship, I guess. There we go. Uh, anyways, yeah, this is a, a dredge out now on many platforms. Uh, today, I think, specifically, it's out today. Yay! Our, our it is so cool. I am very yeah, excited I'm to continue this. playing this. Um, ooh, I'm going to... So I'm, I'm gonna probably just keep playing. So, um, Pat's like, hmm, bye everybody. What if I just, yeah. <laughs> Thanks everybody for tuning in, uh, and thank you for to everyone who watched my video. Um, is youtubecom slash polygon right now, and it's about the Great Gatsby and copyright law. I was happy that like the idea of a, a, a video on patent and copyright law, which we've been bouncing around forever, finally got made. And, Finally. It connected to this story so well. It was perfect. I'm so glad. We truly, like, every year, multiple times a year, 
it comes up and we're like, It'd be interesting to do a video on that, but how are we going to make patents interesting? Right. Um, and I'm so glad that we finally got a chance to do it. We did it. Yeah, it reminded me of I, the notes I had from one of those attempts. I, I, I tweeted about it, but oh, yeah. that's how I had discovered the, the gorilla sandwich. Oh, it what's the gorilla the sandwich? It was the cucumber sandwich somebody patented, oh. and their name for it was the gorilla sandwich, and it's a hollowed out cucumber. Right. Full of like a, a chicken salad or something like a salad. Disgusting. Sandwich filling. And then you eat like a a banana, I guess. I don't know. It was. <laughs> I just love the idea that somebody was like, I'm going to patent this idea. It's so good. That's so. I don't like that, actually. <laughs> I'm Hand upset. It's portable. I'm upset. I think it's weird they call it a sandwich, but. Anyway, he, this is this is. Go watch Simone's video. It's got good stuff. Go read Clayton's tweets. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's been the stream. Bye. That's the stream. Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.